Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and this one's on, of which we're looking at Toa Metro Oniwa, and also Matau from 2004. So on the front of the manual entry, which I have just for Oniwa, we have the Bionicle logo, and the old style font for it, and Lego logo, Toa Oniwa, and set number 8604, and picture of Toa Oniwa in action, Kind of climbing up some wall with Pometru climbing below him. And front page of which it was a neat shot with all the Toa Metru together. And on the back, advertisements for the uh, Bonicle the game. That there is. And Mask of Light there from the year prior. And the logo, Bonicle.com. And Bonicle Mask of Light movie. Really good movies. Which still holds up today. So yeah. And then next to which we have, have the Toa Metro here and also the Kanoka Disc Pack and also how you can take two caster lids, put them together, and make a uh, Matoran Sphere, of which, just like the movies that there is, of which, awesome thing that there was. So yeah. The advertisement of all the a uh, Matoran of Metro Nui and a little map of Metro Nui there. And again, map of Metro Nui and little pics from each Metro. And then advertisement of all the Toa Metro together. And then like these two of which I previously reviewed and also Wenyu and Nuju. Of which next next throwback Thursday, so stay tuned for that. And then, like most manuals, which was about one half or one third of the combination model instruction, it's for that. And then how to put Oniwa back with canister. And then the last building steps in is alternate mode, of course. Now on to Toa Metro Oniwa himself, well, one of which, which as you see, same build as all the rest of the Toa Metro, but however, but, but however, and of course, like all the other years, same build, but just different color, different mask, different weapon, but however, for Oniwa here, is in this light brown color, which most of the uh, Metro Nui sets or stone characters of Metro Nui all had, which also, uh, which came back in all of Generation Two Bonicle, of course. So now, as for the legs of which, uh, the uh, feet and leg pieces, which were used on a whole lot of sets throughout the years. Same with the uh, leg armoring as well. But also nice to get in brown if you are to use for mocking. And then I pop this on and have double sided uh, a hand connector kind of piece. And since, of course, the Toa Metro first sets to ever use this piece for that. Since even though the rock sheet the year prior first sets to use double jointed knees for that. And also what the Toa Metro are. And what Toa and Metro are kind of mostly known for is bendable elbows. Well, first time cancer sets had that. And now these lower arm pieces, which, which is in brown exclusive to this set, and also, and of course, these did get used on a whole lot of sets afterwards, of course. And then the shoulder uh, pad pieces, also the same with like a couple of pistons on the sides and so on. And onto the torso piece, which the uh, waist piece also used on a whole lot of sets after this, but in light brown, of course. And then the body piece, which also the same as the, all the Toa Metro sets. But let me get the chest piece off of it, which, unlike the Toa Mata, kind of like the Toa Mata pieces, but Instead of having the gears exposed, it's 
in a different kind of way for that. And also have this little piece of which that kind of keeps it hidden, covers it. Which quite, which is, I find major improvement over that. And then as for the head piece of the witch, also used on a whole lot of sets as well. For the, and also the eye stock pieces, which for Oniwa in particular, in dark blue, translucent dark blue, which was exclusive just to him. But however, the few years after, stuck to just a uh, reddish orange, like no commas, and also to light a uh, yellow kind, which Wakama did. And now to Oniwa's mask here in particular, which quite square shaped, kind of has a bit of Wally vibes to it, and of course has a full open kind of section, kind of part of it, kind of interesting. And on top, this interesting, weird design to it. And of course, kind of slip back, of course. And also, and also, like the Mask of Light and Mask of Shadows the year prior, which were the first sets to have a plus rock connection in the mask. But, and then shortly after this, all the sets throughout Bionicle also did. Okay. And now, on to his weapons here which are these little pickaxe kind of weapons and the, which are like very thin and also that he said but in OD was short video that there was he which can like they like shrink right downwards if he like flicks them right in words it's kind of weird how that is but whatever and as for the alternate feature you can do with it is just, which is kind of quite like uh, Nokamas, but where it has the small-ish pin connections to that. Where on, on Nokamas, they like go downwards, but on Himowich, it they go upwards. Probably like extra storage or something, but what? not sure though. So there, and that's about it with Oniwa. And now on to Matau. Which, as you can see, which same build, but all in dark green, since Metro Nui was the time of introduced to dark green, which carried on until Metro Nui, but then back in Bar Magna, of course, for the final year. And then for the only two particular parts of Matau here, which is the mask piece, which we also see on Pyrock in the Voi Nui line, which is kind of interesting how it's shaped like have these three little oval designs in the front, and also this little crest kind of part on top of which, which but in the Metro Nui movie and Web of Shadows movie, it's in pure silver for that, which they didn't want to use for this set. And also these interesting designs on the sides for some reason, kind of like his ear parts or something. And same connection as the other masks. And also, eye stock piece in dark red, oh, which which was exclusive to him, but also nice to get here. But yeah. And then, uh, as for his weapons, which are these katana kind of pieces, which did get reused once or twice, but in 2008 on a couple of the vehicle sets, and obviously in Exo Force as well. Uh, like they have these little niches on the sides of them, and also ending up in a katana kind of shape for that. And of course, you can like pop them off and. As for his alternate feature, which these back parts, of which which have the blue pins in them, just like what Vakama had for that, but it was to hold his disc launcher. But in this, can like put these blades on him, and they form wings. Which in his short video, 
uh, which has them out like that. But in the uh, Legends of Metro Dewey movie, they, which were like uh, very large, which well, extra large for that. That way, he's really can wind fly, of course. And oh, what else is there? And of course, in the Metro Dewey movies and Web of Shadows movies, was of course kind of the funny one. So, and it was kind of, was kind of worked for most people, but especially but me as well. But yeah. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these are quite good sets, are quite good and kind of cool sets for for both of 2004 and of now. And of course, the uh, Toa Metro sets, which major improvement over the previous Toa sets, like a whole lot more pieces and same gear functions, but more posability to that. So of course, at this time, got a little bit more for the same price, but yeah or maybe they were just a dollar more or, or whatever but and of course as for Oniwa the mask piece of which can be workable with some of uh, Wally-esque mocks if you don't count the ones from like Brickheads and Ideas of course and, or, and also kinda nice to see them both have some exclusive weapons to them well Math Towers wasn't much exclusive since it came in a few other sets but Oni was a witch stayed exclusive for that, but unfortunately the oftentimes kind of bended over time. Well, unless if you were lucky enough to keep them nice and straight over time, of course. Oh, and also what I forgot to point out is how I have the head connections, which were like that, but instructions say put it like that, which I really didn't like that, so I prefer to have them like that. Which is as well. Forgot to say that, but I'm sure you, you can kind of agree or disagree on that. But yeah, and also, and again with Odiwa, good to have a whole lot of light brown in a set, of course. And Matau, which may have been kind of the like funny one throughout the two movies, then, but still kind of workable. Kind of works for me, and maybe some of you too. But yeah. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.